So, you know, the drug companies, they got a long way to go to be able to use it. I think we can do a lot more in the field of nutritional medicine. Now, the notion of personalized medicine when it comes to nutrition really started by looking at big diets and saying, okay, which diet is the best for that person? If you take 10 people and you put them on the Atkins diet, how many responses are you going to get? 10. 10 different responses. Or you put them on the Pritikin diet, 10 different responses. Or the Mediterranean diet, 10 different responses. And so we need to have a better understanding of what the heck is going on inside of that person's cell, especially inside of their nucleus, to be able to determine what diet they're going to respond to. So that's nutritional genomics, is looking at, uh, at the big picture, the macronutrients, the carbohydrates, and the proteins, etc. So that led us to asking a question, well, can we just pick the gene for type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome? Well, here's some candidate genes. You will be tested on these tomorrow. <laughs> I'd like you to memorize all of these genes. Well, there's the forehead box, winged helix factor, two leucine zipper zinc finger gene. Okay, I, I don't think so. So, you know, it has turned out to be more complicated than we had hoped. There's not just one or two genes for insulin resistance, but we're getting there. And again, part of the problem with genes is we have to know what they do exactly. You can't just say a person has this gene. You've got to know exactly what protein it's coding. Nutrigenomics is the area I've gotten most interested in. That is the study of molecular relationships between specific food components and genetic responses. This is actually called the food genome junction. And this is an area that's really come a long way. I have to credit Dr. Jeffrey Bland for really talking about this 10, 15 years ago, was bringing up this idea and starting to talk about it and writing books about it. And the rest of us were saying, yeah, that's really cool. Someday I'll use that. And now it's getting to the point where we really can use it on a regular basis. And I'll give you examples of how we can use it. So here's the notion that diet can affect our genotype expression, RNA, protein expression, biomarkers, the whole metabolomic schmear. Okay? All of it together. There are many, many articles that are coming out now, like this one, that are basically saying, guess what? All those phytochemicals in the herbs that I was talking about, you know how they're working? They're working by upregulating our genes. They're having direct effects on our genes, and we can tell you what pathway they're using to do that. That is called the food genome junction. 